Well, the Trojans don't get the victory tonight. They fall by the score of 71 to 62 here at Central State. They'll be in action again on Saturday. Cedarville will have that broadcast for you. We're going to do some highlights for you here real quickly as we take a look at uh, the action from tonight. And first off, kick it in the corner. That's Mac Walden with the three-pointer. Actually, three-point shot, and then Gambaroni cleans it up and finishes it for the Trojans for the basket. Gambaroni has some nice action out there. They kick the ball around, and there's Jacob Williams with the three-pointer. Coach Harris joins us now. Coach, we're just kind of looking at the highlights, and we'll let you comment anything you see in here on this corner right up here. There's Walden driving. That was a big basket there that got you guys in, and he had a chance at the foul line. And Jacob Williams did a good job moving the ball around out there. Looking in for Gambaroni, and then Williams couldn't get the three, but drives in and gets the open shot there in the lane. Now on the break. Palm finds room, puts it up and I, in. I, I thought when we got to that point, we were going to be able to turn the corner. I did too. You know, we missed three straight free throws to tie. Mm -hmm. You know, Percy had a great offensive rebound on that set scenario. Williams you know. looked great early. I thought maybe, maybe you can comment, did the legs start to go on some of the guys shooting outside yeah, later? Maybe, maybe with Matt, because, you know, he, he hadn't played the whole first semester. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I think it more than anything, we, our, our, we just didn't play well, uh, particularly making decisions from the point guard spots. You know, we just – we let them frustrate us. We got in foul trouble. Um, you know, we, we didn't do the things that we practiced. You know, and that's yeah. why I just shared with them in there. You guys, you know, we, we prepared for everything that they were going to do, and we just didn't do what we practiced. So, you know, it's a learning, you know, uh, it, you know this, um, it, 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 it's, a, it's learning how to continually do the things. Against Kentucky Wesleyan, we did most of the things that we, mm -hmm. we practiced. And, and, and I think we kind of felt like, oh, we, you know, we were close to Kentucky West and we're going to come out and they're just going to let us win. And, you know, it, it's, there's an, a mental and an emotional and a physical side to preparing to, uh, to, to, to be successful. And uh, for whatever reason tonight, you know, we just did not do the things that we made. And we, we had a couple balls that rimmed and came out. All of them were big shots. Nice. And then when it's a four-point game, they hit back-to-back -back threes, you know. And so it, it's just uh, – uh, it's, that's the way yeah. basketball, but the way and, it bounces and sometimes. Absolutely. And, and they got off to the hot start. And, uh, of course, that, that got you guys in the heels a little bit. But you came all the way. You're down by 14, tied it at 32. They scored. I thought it was critical. They did score the last seven of the first half to, to get to get the lead, and they scored the first back of basket, basket of the second half, which I thought, you know, kind of got you guys down again, and you guys had to climb back again, and, and they slowly built it from there. But, again, you got it all the way down to three and had some chances. And uh, Yeah, and, and, you know, in the end of the first half, you know, they made a couple. They made a three and got to the, yeah. got the breakaway layup. Um, they scored the last seven points of the first half, but again, it was, it was what we did. You know, we shot it fast. We yeah. we set up a point guard coming off a screen to throw back, and Jalen shot it like two or three times. So, um, you know, it's it, it's 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 about doing the 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 things that we practice, and and doing them underneath games game conditions, and and over and over and over. And and you look at this game, and we knew they were going to press us. We knew they were small. We knew they were going to be scrappy, and. Um, we talked about trying to dominate the game in the paint, and uh, we didn't we didn't do a good enough job. I guess if we would have made a couple of those threes, mm -hmm. they had to come out. But there's no reason for them to come out of the paint when we're 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 missing wide open looks. And uh, and I, some of that is tired. Max is proud that some of that is tired. I thought Jacob did a great job today. You know, he mm -hmm. he ran down a breakaway in the first half and got a defensive stop. You know, um, we're we're gonna make some Percy changes. Blade. I thought played really well tonight. When, when Percy's aggressive. You know, I mean, especially in that little stretch right there, you know, mm -hmm. the offensive rebounds that he had and then yeah. turn playing in the post. You know, we just got to get him to do that all the time. I, you know, I, I, I didn't think, uh, you know, Terrell Byron or Jalen played, uh, you know, very well. Uh, Chris really had, had the right move in taking the ball of the hole and got mm -hmm. called for the travel on the one right there in the middle to come back when it's a three-point game. We had two chances, really three yeah. chances, uh, with the free throws to, to tie or take the lead right there, and we just didn't do it. So, uh, you know, it's a learning. It's a learning curve, and um, – you know, we've got to try to figure out how to split on the road, and then we've got to figure out how to win the two at home. Uh, Gambaroni, double-double uh, tonight, 10 points, 12 rebounds, 10 for Jalen Palm, uh, 10 points, 8 rebounds for Percy Blade, and 11 for Jacob Williams tonight. Uh, 8 rebounds for Devontae Neal, had that block. I thought really d gave you guys a boost in, the in there a couple half, of times. he came in and gave yeah. us a huge lift, you know, and and, and, and that's how that's, if we could get that out, out of him every game, that would be a big lift, you know, the – and then it wasn't the same in the second half, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's about being consistent. 
um, you know, and in, in our guys, you know, when you, when you talk about having three or four guys in double figures, you know, and I haven't even looked at the box, but, but uh, you know, Byron's been our leading scorer all year, and yeah. and, uh, and he's struggled tonight, you know. It's I mean, pr uh, probably, I, you know, I, I would say probably the, the, the only game this year that you would really say that about him, I think, you know, that, he, that you would say he struggled. Yeah, and, and you know, and it's one of those things where, where you, you just you look at it and, and, you, and you, don't, you don't know why exactly, you know. You, yeah. You know, some of it's been on the road. Some of it's not sleeping in their own bed. I, you know, but we've been on the road plenty this, you know, <laughs> this year. But, uh, you know, I, I, hopefully, you know, we'll respond on Saturday. Um, Cedarville, talk about them just a little bit. What, what's your, uh, uh, what are you going to do at Cedarville to get the victory? Well, number one, they're going to press us really hard. You know, uh, we got to pass ahead and make layups. You know, and then we got to come back, and somebody's got to step up and guard Renke, and uh, and the other the other six five kid, and then they've got a bunch of kids that are all capable of scoring mm. you know they're they're a little bit like central state only they're bigger they're not quite as quick we may be able to stay in front of them a little bit better and, and, and it's going to be it's just going to be a part of of, of of one day turnaround one practice one shoot around and then turn around and regroup and play and uh, I, I i think you'll see us do a little bit better job on saturday all right he's sam harris i'm greg ruff cedarville will have the broadcast for you on saturday and hopefully the trojans will get a doubleheader sweep on Saturday and bring home a couple more wins from the great state of Ohio. For Sam Harris, for the whole crew, I'm Greg Ruff. Thank you for watching Trebekah Basketball on the Trojan Sports Network.